just a little update on our yellow watermelon. I know that you follow us and we lost uh, a few to the coyotes. Um, the other, the ones that were a little later maturing are coming on now. Uh, so just a little update about how we pick them and what we look for when we pick uh, watermelon. Uh, so when we come over here, um, we want to find this is about the good size for a yellow watermelon. First thing we do is flip it over and you'll notice on this one it's still green on its belly. And if we look back here to where it joins the plant, like in this one, the tendril is still green. So this one's not ripe yet. We'll leave this one here uh, to ripen on the vine. Uh, so what we're looking for is one that's got uh, a yellow spot on the bottom of it. And if we come back to the tendril where it joins up to the main vine, you'll notice that it's died off. So you don't have that curly tendril on it anymore. And it's what we call full slip. So it just should come off just like that. And that's how we pick you a ripe watermelon, or at least that's how we try our best to pick them as ripe as possible.